Governor Rick Scott flooded with feedback as to whether or not he should sign a controversial education bill. School choice programs have stepped up to defend and lobby for the legislation. But public school advocates, along with many parental groups and teachers unions, oppose the measure, and they're asking the governor to veto it. The bill heavily benefits charter schools through additional funding and less regulation. It also eliminates an end-of-the-year algebra test, adds 20 minutes of recess for public schools, and eliminates a teacher evaluation system. Duval County Public Schools Board Chairman Paula Wright and Board Member Becky Couch join us here on The Morning Show. Welcome to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Let's first talk about the biggest issue for Jacksonville's schools. If this measure is put into law, what's the impact on DCPS? Ms. Wright? Well, it, the, the most important impact is loss of dollars. Um, this bill has removed the districts um, across the state ability to pool together Title I dollars to provide a needed, needed resources to our struggling schools. So, and the second major point is that it will begin to dismantle our entire school system. This is not about three schools of the 115 that here in Jacksonville. If those three schools are closed, where are we going to send those students? Uh, our middle schools in Duval are already overcrowded. So if we have to now take the enrollment from these three schools across the county, tr additional transportation costs, et cetera, it is a domino effect that will impact our entire city. Now, if you listen to Richard Crouch, who's the Florida House Speaker, who, by the way, is in a boxing match with the governor over the whole education and funding issue, he said, it's time we separate fact from fiction. And basically, Corquin's contention is that this measure is all about reform. Ms. Couch, how would you respond to him if he was sitting here right now? I would say that the ideology behind the bill is maybe their idea of reform, but there's no evidence that any of this is, is going to work. Um, the Schools of Hope measure that's in the bill, it's to recruit high-performing charter schools from outside of Florida and to give, incentivize them to come into Florida. When they spoke to the legislators during session, they even said reform is not their work. They actually start from a uh, three-year-old all the way up and grow their cohort of students in their charter schools. So the, the measure really doesn't even do what that group of charter school operators said they intended to do. And I think what we would see more of is the charter schools that already exist in the state of Florida, um, the charter school operators that are privately managed um, that you know, really make revenue off of charter schools, take advantage of the, these bills by collecting property tax money, um, Title I dollars, without having to go through a district um, agency. Um, and we have evidence in Duval County that they do not outperform our schools. So, especially in our Title I schools. So, it, it's, it's all, in theory, it sounds really good, but it does nothing to change the circumstances. All it really does is deprives traditional public schools of resources to then hand over to some for-profitly, uh, for-profit, uh, privately run charter schools. Now, I can tell you, it is in the governor's hands as to what happens. He was here in mid-May, and some reporters tried to push him as to whether or not he was going to veto it. He wouldn't commit, though he's hinted in the past. Have to wait and see. If you have an opinion about this school bill, you can contact the governor's office with your recommendations. He has to make a decision before the budget goes into law because it's tied to the budget, which is the 1st of July. Number to call and let your voice be heard is 850-488-7146 or go to flgov.com and click Contact Governor Scott at the top. And by the way, if you'd like to revisit this issue and hear what Ms. Wright and Ms. Crouch, uh, Couch have to say uh, about what this would mean for Jacksonville schools, it'll be posted later this morning, long about 10.30, 11 o'clock on the morning show.